430, there are many tight-knit communities around Central Florida, and there's a new one meeting the needs for those with developmental disabilities. News 6 anchor Kirsten O'Connor shows us how it's letting residents live largely on their own, and tonight's getting results for your help. 27-year-old Erica Bond is showing us around her new neighborhood. When I knew she was moving in, I'm like, oh my gosh, here we go. She's really going to be moving out. How many things can I worry about, right? That's right. <laughs> her mom, Jill, tells us letting go of her daughter hasn't been easy. It's just difficult when your child leaves for the first time especially when they have a disability. Jill says Erica was diagnosed on the autism spectrum around the age of nine and has always exceeded expectations. I'd say she's not going to be able to do that. And then she would do it, you know, eventually. Sometimes just take her longer. Recent estimates from the CDC show about one in six American children ages three to 17 years old have a developmental disability. Housing for this population is a challenge. Um, it's estimated that about 50,000 individuals will be turning 18 with a developmental disability over the next five to 10 years. We're 50 out of 50 states in support for the individuals that we serve. And Quest Village is working to get results and break that statistic. There's nothing like this in Central Florida. I mean, I've been looking for years, hoping for something like this, because what you think about is the day you're not around anymore, because you're not going to be here all the time. So far, I'm doing pretty good for myself. In just her first two weeks, Erica is cooking her own meals, starting a new gardening club. Hard part is uh, trying out a new plant. And meeting new friends. We had a movie night uh, just last Friday. The great thing about this is that it's a whole community of people, so she has a chance, you know, to have a social life. Quest Village is a neighborhood that's filled with units just like Erica's, and there are a little over 20 that are still available for residents. The grand opening will be on February 8th. Getting results for your health in Orlando, Kirsten O'Connor, News 6.